Hello, this is just a short video to explain to you Guardian Spirits a little bit in depth. Um, first important thing, after you finish the last main mission in the Omi region, the Demon King revealed, you unlock the very last main mission. It's called the Queen's Eye. It it's more or less an epilogue mission and leads you back to London. You have to solo it the first time. As you can see it doesn't have a shrine or Tory gate option. When you finish that mission you get the option at the shrine to enhance your guardians which is pretty much just leveling them up. You can level them up to level 30 and if I recall correctly it takes about 5 million Amrita to max a guardian spirit so that amount is the same for every uh, every single spirit. Let's look at the spirits. You probably already figured that spirit is the stat that is tied to guardian spirits. Now we have the three starters here, Kato, Izonade and Daiba Washi. And um, as you can see some of uh, the text is grey or spirit requirements in red. Now you have two sections here. The upper half is guardian spirit protection and the lower half is living weapon. The guardian spirit protection is nothing else but passive bonuses that you gain from equipping your guardian spirit so it's only active as long as you have it on you when you die and you still have to return to your grave it won't be active same as you can use living weapon uh, the lower half living weapon just tells you what kind of damage you do the attack enhancement usable time things like that so that's pretty much self-explanatory um, now for the guardian spirit protection let's have a look at for instance, Isonade, because most people actually pick that spirit for the permanent one point bonus in spirit um, that you get, get after the um, the prologue mission when you pick two weapons and a guardian spirit. Because spirit is pretty much universal, so a lot of people go with that. You can see here close combat life recovery. You can always hit options and have an explanation. Restores health when you defeat open on opponents in close combat or you have human close combat damage always uh, explained via the option button as well and strong attack key reduction so oh sorry as you can see the um, close combat life recovery for instance needs 8 spirit human close combat damage needs 10 and uh, the strong attack key reduction needs 11 spirit so you actually have to level up your spirit up to that point to be able to use your passive bonuses for my build for instance I went up to 25 spirit because that is the highest requirement that spirits uh, use for their passives, for their guardian spirit protection. With Tengen Kujaku you have 25 spirit for the enemy treasure and Amrita and Kodama sense and with uh, Sershi you have um, 25 spirit for retrieve lost Amrita which means when you die your guardian spirit returns to you as well as well as with 85 percent I leveled it up to level 30 already so it will be lower when it's at base level uh, together with with a certain amount of Amrita when you die so no need to retrieve your your grave so um, like I said I went with 25 spirit because I just want to be able to switch to every spirit that I want to use I myself I'm using Suzaku for my build so I would only have to use 20, 21 spirit um, but there's no big deal in investing that four more points for my build um, otherwise, for instance, if you are going with an pure, with a pure Omnio build, you could use Hinezumi, which gives unlimited Omnio, 19%. Normally, it's 15 at base level. That has a chance of not using your spell cast. That requires 15 spirit. The alternative for a ninjutsu build would be Ayakumori, the bad. The unlimited ninjutsu doesn't need any spirit. But for instance, for the agility damage bonus, you would need 15 spirit. That means your agility is based on your equip load and based on that you get a damage bonus when you fulfill the spirit requirement. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Pretty much self-explanatory. Just pick your guardian spirit and according to that, level your spirit up to the point um, where you unlock all the passive bonuses. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.